this is bad. This is, this sucks. This sucks. Today I woke up to potentially the worst bit of Rocket League news I have ever seen. This is the craziest news I've ever seen regarding Rocket League. Rocket League announced that they are removing trading. Rocket League will be removing player to player trading. We're taking away a huge piece of your community. This might be the most out of touch, worst decision I, I've ever seen. But I feel like, I truly, but I truly feel like we as a community, the Rocket League community, right, have been lied to. This game has so much potential, man. And at this point, it's losing all of its potential. Now, the issue is Rocket League ranked uh, the last three, four, five seasons is really just, it's different. Since hearing about UE5 three years ago, we have not heard a thing since. We have not heard anything. This is so stupid. There's no good news from this. And for me, it's over. It's oh, I just I'm good. The current state of Rock League is at an all-time low, and I want to talk about it. If you want a successful game, there needs to be good communication between the developers and the player base. And this is Rocket League's first problem. You see, last year, Rocket League decided to remove trading. And of course, everyone was mad about it. Now, personally, I don't really care that they removed trading in general. I never used the feature, and the only time I did was to trade with some friends. My main concern was how they went about removing trading. You see, Rocket League just made a post saying that they were going to remove trading in December, stating that it was to align with Epic's overall approach to game cosmetics and item shop's policy. But that's it. They didn't give any more details in this one paragraph, and that's where the problem stems from. Rocket League not having much transparency at all about removing trading created a huge fuzz, not only in the Rocket League player base, but in the content creator space as well. A lot of content creators were pissed about the overall decision, as well as the fact that they were left in the dark. It doesn't matter if you're a YouTuber or a streamer, if Rocket League is your main source of content, it is scary when the main company running your game is making these huge unannounced decisions, because it puts the future livelihood of those content creators in question. Don't get me wrong, Epic Games not communicating to the overall player base is in general bad, but the reason why I'm focusing on content creators is because they make a living off of Rocket League and while the overall player base doesn't. So, if Epic Games were to make a bigger decision, maybe one that would actually kill the game, well, those content creators would be put in a really tough spot. And that is my main concern. Rocket League needs to do a better job when it comes to communicating to its content creators as well as the community as a whole. I mean, seriously, how hard is it to inform the community about the state of Rocket League as well as the future plans for the game? Bare minimum, inform the content creators so that they don't feel left in the dark. Anyways, next topic. So Rocket League hasn't added any new content for a while. Every now and then we get a few new modes, events that offer limited time challenges to acquire items, and one single new map that usually comes with the seasonal rocket pass, which could literally be a slightly different variation of an already existing map. Now, people have speculated that Rocket League is working on bringing the game to Unreal Engine 5, which can take a while. So if they are working on that, it might explain the lack of new content. But Rocket League hasn't really confirmed this. Again, just lack of communication. Now, I would assume that they are working on something because the lack of content and updates would literally make no sense. But I am a little bit worried about this. You see, Rocket League's current state kind of reminds me a little bit of Overwatch. You see, when Blizzard announced Overwatch 2, they promised a lot of new features, like the PvE they were going to add, but then they canceled on that stuff. 
And the problem is that for about two years, Overwatch got no new updates. The devs just left Overwatch alone while they focused on Overwatch 2. But then when Overwatch 2 came out, it was the same thing as Overwatch 1. Just a few new changes, a few new heroes, maps, and of course no PvE. So the question is what the actual fuck were they doing for all that time? And the reason I bring this up is because I see Rocket League going down the same path. No new content for literally a few years, and then when the devs come out with what they have been working on, it might not be enough. It doesn't matter if the devs bring Rocket League to the Unreal Engine 5 or they release Rocket League 2, if they don't come out with something that's actually game changing, then Rocket League would just be in the same spot it is now. But yeah, it just feels like the overall situation all over again. So those are my thoughts on the overall state of Rocket League, but I wanted to ask, what are the overall thoughts of the actual player base? So I went into ranked and I asked, what are your thoughts on the current state of Rocket League? Not good. Okay, why? No communication from Epic and no new updates. Hey, that's what I said. They don't add, just take. True. Sad face. Oh, little pass for my teammate. Nice. Oh, and this guy left. We are 40 seconds into the game. Nice. Very, uh, Rock League. That right there sums it up. Yup. It's not great dying. I think there's an insane amount of GCs and champs still. I'm actually not wrong. Weird, it's bad. Mid, bad. Like the overall current state? Okay, this guy said weenie. Mid, weenie, yeah, no. Okay, we have a lot of mixed opinions here. Anything else to say? Esport dies, so does the competitive aspect. Weenie. They killed it quick. Rocket League or LCS? All of it. More skins, lol, fuck the servers. Okay, I'm not sure what that means. New RLCS qual format is bad. Rocket League is fine. More skins, yay. This guy really wants skins, huh? Horrible. Bring back trading. True. True. All three's teammates suck. I'm having fun, smiley face. This is my opinion. What about you? Oh, he's asking me. I think Rockley can use a lot of work. Fair point. Like my life, I can't wait for it to be over. Um, okay. Can't stand it. Honestly, RLCS or Rocket League? Unless you're talking about Red Lobster, then I hate it more. Okay, this guy's talking about Red Lobster. It's the best game ever made. Okay, we got some mixed opinions here. Dead game, unfortunately. Poop. Rip epic. Yep, rip epic indeed. But that's pretty much it for the video. I didn't really go over the esports side of things. Um, I just don't really know enough about the esports scene to talk about it. Musty made a really good video talking about the esports side of Rocket League. I'll have it linked in the description if you guys want to go watch that, as well as the other content creators I used in this video. I do want to make a quick disclaimer. This is not a video meant to attack Rocket League. I love Rocket League. I've been playing it since 2018 and it's the only competitive game that I play nowadays. I really want Rocket League to succeed, but the current state that it is right now, it's pretty much at an all time low. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. What's on this? Our winning player is player trading in December. Good. That's good because um, because I got the, one of the rest items in the game. or the rest items in, uh, in the game. So um, today. everybody who don't who won't have it, uh, will fuck them because I, I keep the uh, the profits. Poking. Oh wait, that's gonna be worthless. Uh. No, it's just sell the account now. <laughs>